gentlemen, welcome back to Gold Championship Series here in Shanghai. And uh, it's kind of high noon in Group B because it's only one series left to determine the fourth player for the playoffs. And it's either going to be Fly or the loser of the previous match, WFZ. Yep, I thought this was going to be a predetermined lower bracket game. I thought Czech was certainly going to be facing Fly. I was wrong. Uh, I had the big favorite WFZ in my book and turns out you were right, Czech is on fire currently and he was able to take the victory just a few minutes ago over WFZ. And now we have a rematch. WFZ and Fly met already in this group mm -hmm. where it was a 2-1 series. I would say though on the two maps, one by the undead, it was uh, fairly convincing. Twisted Meadows went towards Fly, yep. the uh, traditional orc map. First map is going to be Amazonia. This is the random one being uh, brought out here from this format. Mm, I would say pretty even, maybe slightly going towards the orc with this being the smallest map. Gonna be fairly easy for him to find the creep jack if he wants to. But, well, WFZ, was he disappointing? Or was it just Czech being so strong today? I think Czech was pretty strong. Um, WFZ, I don't really like his tinker choice. Not too sure. Um, the second map, I think he made some mistakes. Uh, that wasn't the WFZ that we know, I think. But the third map was definitely check, or maybe WFZ waiting a little too long. But that was also the case in the second map, so not too sure uh, what to think of it. But yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this map. Yeah. Um, can can Fly stabilize again, or will his uh, risk taking late master play pay off this time? It's gonna be either the champion of last season dropping out, or it's going to be one of the only two undeads in this competition saying goodbye to us here. I wonder if a WFZ may have been, may have gotten a little flustered here, because I believe he was expecting a win here against Czech, which of course he didn't receive, especially the decision both times to have the Expo come up and then take the fight and then probably win the game right there. Both times kind of broke his neck. Yeah. Does that maybe uh, mess with his confidence a little bit? I guess it shouldn't, since he was able to beat check, uh, Fly before. But Fly has a lot of room for improvement. Oh, yeah. He didn't play... Oh, we were muted this whole time. No, no. No, we weren't? It's just a preview. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we were uh, not sure of what to expect from Fly. This has not yet been his uh, tournament where he showed the prowess that he has shown a few months before. Maybe he can back into the groove though. Against Colorful in the lower bracket, he showed some signs of former brilliance. Yep. And if he gets to that stage again, it might be enough for WFZ in this decision match. Should be his first tournament in a while, so maybe he has to get used to uh, the flow again. But yeah, not too successful. I mean, dropping out immediately against WFZ, then the win in the lower bracket, then the loss in the 2-on-2, two two, maybe not going home with the best feeling because they certainly had not too many chances yesterday in the 2-on-2. Two two. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, he, he he told him he practiced a lot and he wants uh, to go far in this in this tournament to defend his championship. And, and yeah, going to be interesting for sure. I did an interview with a Fly, by the way, yesterday, so uh, that should be on our YouTube the next coming days, mm -hmm. youtube.com slash back to Warcraft, and more interviews and impressions from Shanghai will be uploaded there soon. This is our last day for the first week. We're, of course, going to be continuing next week on Thursday again. Uh, on our off days, we have a few things planned. We might be going to Disneyland, we, we might be going uh, rock climbing. And of course, there's a few things we have to do with Foggy still, yep. and with Rudan once he arrives, which is going to be next week, um, before his matches start. Uh, seems like we have a little bit of a wait here. Uh, Fly is not yet in the game in the lobby, but will be joining soon. This first series was a pretty long one. Yeah, uh, took one and a half hours with all the breaks in between and stuff. Yeah, party is planned for later tonight. I hope we don't uh, start too late because it's Sunday and I don't know how long these places have open here. That's true, actually. Uh. Yeah, but until 4 probably should be. It's enough time to drink yeah. Baiju. That's true. We had a lot of fun with Baiju, didn't we? Yep. <laughs> Maybe you more than I, but... Uh, you enjoyed it much more and as far as the taste went, but uh, it seems yeah. like it, uh, the recoil was worse for you. Backslap was hard on me. <laughs> All right. 
We saw a lot of banshees, by the way, in their first encounter. Mm -hmm. uh, not something that too many undeads go for. I think 1 to 0 completely ignores them, actually. Yeah. Goes for the Pit Lord instead, and th there's a deviation uh, we saw as well in the third hero choice. We saw, I think, no, not exclusively, but we saw a lot of Dark Ranger. Oh, was it exclusively Dark Ranger? It may have been. Yeah, in no the, Pit Lord. In the 2 and 2, we did see the Pit Lord, but of course, we're in the 1 on 1 format here still. It's going to be the last 1 on 1 uh, for today. Our series are going to be determining the fourth player to join the playoffs, and after that, it's going to be 2 and 2 time with uh, the upper bracket first. It's going to be. Yumiko and WFZ versus TED and Hainu. That's right. And Yumiko told us uh, that he's actually more scared of Hainu than he is from TED. He said, yeah. oh, TED is quite weak, but Hainu, man, he was playing for World Elite back then. Super strong player, not for one-on-one, -on -one, but two-on-two. -on -two. He is brilliant. Yeah. He said he's been playing for 10 years. He ne knows every single strategy inside out. You asked him, how about Invisible Mortar Teams? And Yumiko was like, no, no. No, no. If it doesn't work, game over. Yeah. <laughs> and he said Hainu just knows all the little ins and outs of two and two, all the strategies. <laughs> um, I'm going to be interested to see how they make that work. Yesterday, re I, first time I saw that, the human just going MK first and later on a blood mage and just feeding everything to the undead. Yeah, this is um, two and two play that is really outside the box. I mean, a combination of human and undead has rarely seen before. Uh, they rarely made it, made it work. I think we yeah. saw some... Maybe we saw Todd and Hasu ups back then, or TH and Hasu was a big 2-2 two two team from our sports, the oh, WC3 yeah. up. Way back in the day. But th they uh, th were never thinking so far as Yumi Q and WFZ are doing it now. But I think the focus for WFZ will be on the one-on-one -on -one competition. And Fly is here, I think. Or he in is invited, at least, to the room. Yeah, WFZ, uh, he has a wife and a child living in Germany, and he's trying to get his work permit, actually, to go over there, and also trying to make a bit of money to support his family. So this uh, tournament, the prize money he's getting with this, uh, this would be a big deal for him. He also streams a lot to have some other form of income, and seems like we'll be heading into the game soon as we see the dark portal between the two players. Who's going to be able to enter? That's the question. Yeah, the road to the playoffs, or the door to the playoffs. It's wide open for both of them. Just need to win two maps, but that sounds so easy and it's actually so hard. Fly, there he is, if you don't recognize him. Different haircut, a little slimmer, 29 years old, of course. A WCA champion of 2015, former PGL champion, and uh, playing for mouse Mal sports for the longest time. In WC3L competitions, of course, one of the greatest orcs that this game has ever seen. And uh, the WFZ type's ready, so Fly should be ready as well. His girlfriend is with is uh, with him, supporting him. Good old Lee. Very nice person, also good English. Uh, I really enjoy talking to her. And there we see him again from a closer look. Looks ready. Looks determined. Ready to kill he is. WFZ, always the same look on his face. No big emotions. Uh, Ugi said he... Made him crack up once, but that's it, and they know each other for eight months now, I think. Yeah, w w for the longest time, the strongest under in the world until the rise of 1-2-0, 26 years old he is, WFZ. And uh, yeah, he's back to former glory, not, on, uh, not there yet, but definitely increasing shape. And here we go. Undead versus Orc, one of the coolest matchups we have in Warcraft 3. Best of three once again, and we start... On AZ. All right. Is he going to be going for the Ted Fiends again? Yep, he is. You have the altar first, followed by the Ziggurat, and the graveyard will be quite a bit later. Seems like WFZ really prefers this playstyle against uh, Fly in their match before in the upper bracket, in their first match that they had to play against each other. He always, always went for the Ted Fiends, so pretty predictable in that regard. 1-2-0, player who likes to switch it up a little bit more, but it seems like he is convinced that the faster attack and the delayed Fiends are preferable to the other choice. And with this, maybe going to be trying to harass the late Masters creeping, or maybe going to be trying to uh, creep up some himself. This Acolyte probably looking for the frog to get the first critter. Never mind, he wants to make me look bad, okay. That's fine, I guess. I have a few stats on those two players. They actually met twice uh, yesterday, of, uh, two days ago, of course, and one more time. It's 4-4 in maps between the two, so very, uh, very equal. Fly has a great 
Orc versus Undead matchup. 14 wins, 9 losses on maps. And WFZ on the other side versus Orcs. Of course, he just faces the best Orcs in the world, but still, his uh, record is uh, 15 to 19. That is not so good. Below 50% is always uh, not what you want, obviously. So, usually, the favor, if according to the numbers, would be Fly, but we saw it two days ago. He loves to take high risks, and WFZ loves to punish him for those risks. Yeah, the Blade Master loss kind of goes with Fly's name nowadays. Let's see if this happens again this series. DK popping out of the altar, not going for the dust of appearance, despite him having the attack. money for it, so maybe wanting to save those eight seconds for a slightly faster tech. Not going for another Ziggurat or the Narrow Tower, so it's going to be a very fast tech for the Undead, but pretty much as fast as it gets. Late Master first item, Ring of Protection, so pretty unlucky here with a 25 bad percent. Is he going for the two borrow tech? Yes, he is. So that should mean that the Undead will be ahead in tech, and of course the fast frost armor is going to give him a lot of strength in the mid game. Cool, do you think with skeletons he can kill the shop? Uh, no, Blade Master damage and grunt will be too hard. Second grunt is popping out any time as well. WFZ teching already, two tier two, so as you mentioned, slight advantage. And yeah, this early harass with a decay, do you think that's worth it? Uh, it's not too much else you can do with the early DK. You could maybe get some skeletons here and maybe try to go for the Cobalt Creep in the middle, but, you know, if the bashes, if the bashes aren't on your side, you're going to be very sad. And he does take a lot of time out of uh, the Orcs Creeping here. And, of course, he wants to stack up that Blade Master as much as he can, wants to get to level 3 as quickly as possible. But with this, yeah, I think it's I think it's decent. Before you have like two fiends at least, it's basically not like you can do too much creeping by yourself. And now he might be getting this rogue. Wants to reach around for the coil, should be able to. A nice block from the grunt, but not quite succeeding. Does take heavy damage though in return. And we all know Undead can't heal until they have some statues. Yeah, the Eckhart is now killing a sheep, so you were kind of right with it, but just a little delay. First Fiend is out for WFZ, and uh, Tier 2 halfway done. Blade Master can, of course, now keep taps on the blade on the Death Knight, or start to creep heavy spots, because uh, is there more... Okay, there's three more okay, coils, but do you really want to go that far with this uh, being down to 250 HP? I doubt it. And with that um, low DK, you can't really go for the Merc camps as... 120 is uh, doing a lot of the time. L lure the creeps out with a skeleton or an acolyte or whatever and kill the renegade for a big item and the experience. This seems not to be his plan. He goes for the green spots while Fly is taking out uh, the trolls here, getting level 2 boots of speed already. And this is, this is something that Fly, I think, rarely does. Whenever he can, he skips the boots for to save the 250 gold. Not here, where he's facing elimination. Fighting the Undead now, and this DK doesn't have the Aura, so this might even be a TP forced. The Grunts are creeping simultaneously, this is pretty nice on Amazonia, we have a lot of medium armor, which is of course uh, very good for the Grunts with their normal damage. And the Blade Master not chasing after the DK, I'm surprised, he has so much mana for Windwalk, going after the Fiend instead, but still keeping the Undead from creeping for a long time, and of course the Aura is absolutely crucial, and so is level 3, honestly, for the level 2 coil. Ooh, Fly is already oh. creeping the Taskmaster in the middle of the map while the Lich is popping out for WFZ, and this seems to be an easy creep for him, well thought out, keeping the DK low and far away from his base, so he has time to clear his own side of the map. Yeah, now he's almost level 3, he only needs like these trolls, where the skeleton is already parked to scout, but might be expiring. Death Knight now finally hitting a level 2 in a second. Whoa, TC by Fly. Oh, is he playing this without Spirit Link again? And yeah, tier 3, oh, tier was 3, Lodge. That was a crazy game against Lucifer on Echo Isles. This is so hard to make work. I'm surprised he's this confident, even though he's not in the best shape, because you have to play extremely well. DK, is he gonna get the last hit here onto the rogue? Should be going towards the blade, and that is his level 3. Wow, so strong. Kind of relying on that last hit, and now... Oh, blocking with the illusion as well, but not quite getting it in the end. We have Frost Armor finally for the Lich. This tier 3, by the way, is so fast for the Undead, but the Orc not far behind at all. To that. And Blade Master now down to 50% against the Frost Armor on the Fiends. You can't really do too much. The same for the Blade Master, of course, but he's so far away from level 3. Will he get the time to uh, creep up, of course, the TC for the Storm if you want? Uh, more experience as well, so maybe he goes for his natural to be able to get out a pocket expansion or whatever. Warmill is coming, tier 3, halfway done. This is so dangerous, man. 
does some appearance being bought by Fly to deny it from the other Well, he has it in his own shop, so he just wants to make sure that Borrowed Fiends uh, will be detected. Slaughterhouse and Tier 3 tech for the undead, but he has his Blade Master eyes everywhere. He knows exactly what's going on. And not going for his natural, but for the Merc Cap. Of course, he can get Berserkers yeah, done, and the big item he's looking for. Ah, not this one. Still okay for the TC. A little more damage, a little more HP, but uh, getting the Berserkers here seems to be the bigger thing. Yeah, he really likes them, right? Also getting them in the last series. Late Master is exposed here, dust it. Oh, but wind walk out, of course. Easy, but even more hits on the DK. There is the aura work, working against that. He gets the Sasquatch, getting closer to 3, but only level 2.5. And tier 3 is hitting right now. A little bit late with his ziggurat, maybe, so he can't go for a third hero just yet. Dark Ranger was his preferred choice the last few times. We see Raiders on Fly's side, as you mentioned, no Spirit Walker, no Shadow Hunter so far. Level 2 on the TC with that Creep Spot, Endurance, Aura and Stomp are his, uh, is his skill build. And the Blade Master with the first Slippers of Agility, waiting, luring for the Taskmaster. Is he going in? Oh. A little sleepy, but he steals the item, which is pretty good for him at this point. Read your potion, dust being used, and right clicks on the Blade Master, but he's slowed now. A lot of frost armor used, 200 uh, mana points already invested into defense. And this is so much time for the TC, there's no way he can deny his level 3. He's not going for Shadow Hunter yet, he has the supply free, but not yet the resources in terms of gold. Going for Code of Beast as well. TC has to hit level 3 though, that's gonna be a big X factor. And yeah, he's getting the time here. And that's kind of the thing when you go for the Ted Fiends, your level 3 is late. So, you can't really contest too easily. He has the orb now, he's gonna continue creeping his natural. This, if the orc was like, say, 30 seconds or 20 seconds faster with creeping, this could be a nasty creep jack, but he's too far away, I believe, as the DK will be hitting level 3 momentarily with the Mud Golem dying, which we haven't seen purchased today yet, by the way. No, Muddy is absent. He's on vacation as well, maybe. Oh, reveal being used, so he prevents from attacking the Rock Golem. Okay, with the over corruption, this is too hard. The item is Walk very rewarding, mana. but the creep check from Fly is coming in. And Snake oh, is Nova Call Blade Master well. down! Holy shit! How did that happen? TC coming in with the storm, but what can he really do? First dead, he was down. The Kodo Beast ate a fiend, but oh, the Lich is suffering a bit as well. Is there another coil? Yes, there is a lot of them, but the units are suffering next. Storm, but Silence is coming in. Dark Ranger third, but the Fiend is down. Nevertheless, the Coil is too late, and now he's basically fighting with only his heroes. He has a lot of mana still remaining on the DK, though. Trying to go for a surround on the TC. Can't quite get it, and he's very fast. Also pretty tanky. He gets the Raider, though, in return. But the Orc lost basically nothing. I mean, he lost his first hero, but that's it. One more Nova will be there in a second. What's he going to use it on? The Raider certainly looks like a juicy target. Going for the Grunt instead with the Coil and the right clicks. That was a mistake. Maybe he could have gotten the Raider if he had focused the Nova on it. But he gets away with a speed scroll. And the Grunts, man, taking out the Fiend so quickly. Yeah. But the Blade Master again, no <laughs> inbull. Like, what the hell? You can't do that. It, it's a love hate relationship between Fly and his Blade Master, man. On some days, they are just uh, the best couple of all times. And on the other days, it's just hatred between those two. By the way, I like how you call the TC the X Factor. That was pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize, but <laughs> thanks anyways. Rock Golem dropping, what does he have this time? Swell of the Beast, not bad at all. There's no Dispel on the Orc side. So if that 25% additional damage comes in, and the heroes might be in even more trouble. And because there's no Dispel, WFZ once again going for the Temple of the Damned. Banshees are howling already. You hear their screams through the night. TC, of course, with the aura, pretty damn fast, and he's keeping tabs on his opponent now going to the Merkham, but look at the blue fours. He's coming without the Blade Master. He is tough enough to uh, try to engage this or even try to buy more time. Blade Master is coming back soon, only a few seconds away. Is he going to use his only Windwalk? That's also a little bit dangerous. If you don't have healing or Spirit Link, you want to have a lot of mana on the Blade Master for Windwalk to get in and out of combat. Lich now, level 3, the level 2 Nova, quite a bit more scary, and Blade Master is coming in. He bought a Clarity, I really like this, so he has more Windwalks. Oh, actually, that 
the illusion eating a coil and this is a big org army what's well, going to be focused silence on the tc and the focus as well going his way the illusions taking more and more damage and one fiend to the side almost dying here comes the scroll of speed to see positioning himself and it's going to be a big stomp right here the dark ranger might be falling but no there's going to be one more coil to save it but now the torrent chieftain he has the invul has to use it right now and going to be getting one more fiend almost as the coil just barely saves it in time a Dark Ranger once again eating a lot of damage, but the TC, man, the TC in trouble is there, a Nova there isn't, the Dark Ranger is going to be the sacrifice, but actually gets traded for the TC, and that's a good trade, of course. What's he going to be focusing next? Is he just going to be going for heroes? Oh, the DK is surrounded! He has the TP, though. This one fiend in the back line will not be saved, as he's going for the Grunt trade instead, and he's going to be getting it as well, but still, so much Orc army remaining. 47 food versus 45. I still think it was a good fight for WFZ, killing the TC and getting him uh, far away from level 5. Blade Masters clearing the Renegade though. What's the item? Ooh. It's Gurt! <laughs> Bone Chimes! Hello! And crit level 4 or 2. Oh, wow. This is so sick. Focus giving his luck over. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, the first item was the Ring of Protection, so not quite. DK getting closer to 4, he still has the uh, Scroll of the Beast, but he used the greater mana before, and yeah. that, if he could win a fight with that, that would have been big, but he was forced to leave here because we are, he was, of course, surrounded. Now we have Banshees coming in, though, and that, if he has, like, 2 or 3, there should be curse on everything on the Orc side. Of course, diminishing the damage output greatly from the green skins. Blade Master is uh, pretty low, healing up of course with the self. Triple hero, the progress isn't that big, but is there a shade? Oh yeah, there's a shade in WFZ's army, I like that. Detecting the Blade Master, but he's aware of that right now. Uh, yeah, okay, he has 3-3, three, 3-3-2 three, 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 now actually, so a few skeletons coming out of the um, Dark Ranger. Fly, still at 50 food, not going above that, and no Shadow Hunter as well. Transitioning into headhunters right now to get rid of the banshees and uh, maybe destroyers. Are there destroyers even? I don't think so. Banshees zero upgrades, only curse. And now both players are getting back to their 50 supply. We have Borrow now being researched as well for the undead side, thinking about the red camp. But the Blade Master is here to scout this out. Invol being bought on the DK. Is he giving it over to the Dark Ranger? Yes. Seems like Fly really likes focusing the Dark Ranger. We also saw that in their previous series, in the upper bracket. I mean, the synergy <coughs> is pretty cool, but only uh, it gets really strong if the Lich is level 4 with Dark Ritual, when um, he has the 2-1-1 one, one skill build. But so far, don't see the value of it, really. I, I mean, Silence is always nice, but... And she's the weakest of the three heroes, but in general... I don't know. <coughs> I think uh, things are mixing up now as the Banshees are there. The last fight, we didn't see them. Yeah. And also now the under is full mana, the Lich was low on mana for a long time. Now he has a lot of Nova and Frost Armor to use. And last series, Fly decided to transition into Walkers late. Once he saw the Banshees, this time he is skipping on it. And he is at 57 supply now, thinking about the creep jack. The Undead also at 56 supply himself. Shade always giving detection. And he takes out two of the golems, but the big one is still alive. <laughs> oh, actually goes towards the blade. Well done. Yep. It's not too much since the big uh, item creep is still there, but this was okay. I mean, not anything invested, not too much of a risk to take. TC clearing this natural, which is almost level 4. And we still only see raiders, grunts, and headhunters. Is he going to engage? He's at 60 food, 59 for WFZ. Pretty equal, everything is. So, this could be a big engagement here. Granite Golem, I don't think he has the time to kill him. First Abomination, how is he supposed to deal with them? Well, Banshee's far up front, lot of curse, and the end snares are flying. He has to get rid of them. Now they are in, in the back. Look at the Blade Master, look at the misses, but so far, don't see much of them. Oh, Scroll the Beast coming in so much damage right now. The Kodo Beast gets to eat, but should be dying in the back lines. Of course, there is nothing here to heal it. The A bomb tanking so much damage. Look at this. The entire front line trying to deal with this abomination. But the stuns. Jesus Christ, the storms are so big. But there's only going to be one more left. And after that, the TC isn't too strong. He's silenced at the moment, getting focused here by the orb and all of the right clicks. In will being used as well as the storm. But that was the very last one. A bomb, however, is dead. A lot of the orc forces still alive at 60 supply. Is Fly going for the surround? And 
the sticks. Is he going to be able to pop him out trying to transfer something? Healing potion, but that only lasts for so long because the Nova and the right clicks will be enough for the kill on the second hero. DK now might be getting focused as well. Does he have the Dark Ritual? Yes, he does. The Death Pact, of course, I mean. And the Blade Master has to get out. No healing, no damage mitigation. These heroes just can't stay in this fight. And the Orc has to run away with Curse on everything. But there might be some more pickups as the Lich actually doesn't have mana. But the DK, one more long-range coil. That is the level up for the Lich now as well. He can eat some skeletons doing it right now. Finally. And this fight <coughs> goes towards the undead, certainly. Yeah, he lost a lot as well, but killing the heroes, man. Every single fight, Fly is losing a hero, and you can't afford that long term. TC level 4 takes forever to get him back, and uh, yeah, the Spirit Lodge is finally coming. He has to do something against the curse. Did you see how many uh, red signs popped out there? Every single one is a miss, and that was Telegram. so much damage. They're good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Alright, he's chasing forward. This Kodo, of course, pretty damn slow, especially considering he's being chased by the Unholy Aura. Level 1, the, the Death Pact saved the DK there before. Crucial. Blade Master looking for some pickoffs. Maybe. He oh has an Invul finally. And the Kodo will be falling ah, in a second. Long range coil. Doesn't even need it, though. It's so slow. Yeah, with the Endurance Aura gone, the movement speed is gone, and then you can't take it anymore. But he gets a statue in, re in return, both support units, of course the Kodo Beast with the 10% damage is so sick, he immediately revised them. But the way to dispel is so long for Fly. He's close to level 5 Blade Master, but what's it worth if he just misses everything? A player's four. We get another Nova, again another Headhunter so gone, the Berserker as well, WFC is playing this so good. Patient and uh, always finds the time to engage. I guess he's buying time for his TC, but it's, it's time expensively bought. Now finding some Banshees here, Frost Armor though, to keep it alive. The Blade Master trying to deal with the statue, but the crits aren't quite there. No TP, by the way, on the Undead side. I mean, there is Death Pact, but that has a cooldown as well, so maybe a hero kill could be an option with stun and criticals. TC is back, and yeah, he was carrying the Vamp Aura, so the entire fight, he didn't get the HP back that he so loves. Another A-bomb coming in. That A-bomb man in the first fight tanking so much damage <laughs> was ridiculous. With Curse <laughs> and with Frost Armor, yes. didn't die for the longest time. A-bomb really, uh, the Kodo really has to eat that one. Yeah, speaking of Kodos, there is another one. He's not going for two. It's always one Kodo beast, but now a second walker is coming before the upgrade. So this might be a good timing for WFC to push, and he uh, thinks alike. Three cursing bitches again. And I don't know that we have Destroyer upgrade necessarily. I didn't see it either. I was looking so for it constantly. So, so Spirling might be a big help. Late Master's just standing around there. I really don't know what he's doing. Fly, are you forgetting about your... Um, your biggest weapon. Oh, he's close to five, by the way. Yeah, yeah. With the Kodo Aura, maybe he can look for some hero kills. We have two invuls, though, on second and third hero for the Undead and on the DK. And, of course, Death Pact. Only a thousand gold left in the main gold mine, so the shop is gone. No pocket expansion. If Fly survives, Please. this uh, expansion would, of course, be possible. But he's wasting a lot of time here, I think. He has an invul. Does he have a heal scroll? No, the invul is the only thing he has. Investing a lot into army, I think. 57 versus 59. Pretty equal footing here for the two armies. And the shade sees which hero has which items. This yeah. is such a big help. Knows that in the fight, the Blade Master is the favorite target. Has the Spirit Link, though, making him twice as tanky. The dust actually not hitting the this shade. This is the shade, exactly. He might be flanking another cur. The Abomination once again up front with five armor. And, of course, Frost armor. Two statues to heal up. He will have a second Kodo Beast now, so he can eat two units. That might be a big difference. But he doesn't have a speed scroll. Okay, uh, Okay. he has one. Sorry, I thought I uh, didn't get one. Still not buying the other Invul with the blade. I think he should definitely consider getting one. At the left shop, I believe that should be ready. Main gold mines, 300 gold in. Alright, we're w going into an all-out big 70 or 80 supply yeah. fight. We have the destroy upgrade coming as well as the training for the Banshees. It's the Adept upgrade, so Anti-Magic Shell won't help too much. But is this the way for Possession, or is it just for more mana and more Curse? He got one Destroyer now as well. By the way, also going for Fiend Armor upgrades, so even more damage mitigation. Pitlord would be cool, <laughs> on top of things. 
But all right, we have the adept upgrade. He can dispel curse a few times. We're pretty even in supply, and here comes the engagement. First going for the Raiders, wow. there's Spirling on basically everything. Two destroyers are up in the air on oh, nice stop, hitting the entire army. Kodos coming in to eat, getting the A-bomb, getting the Fiend. There was some good munches from the Orc side. Nova into the army, but everything is still Spirling. These destroyers can't dispel quickly enough. The Acolyte's now coming in for additional help. And this stomp is hitting better and better every time, but now he's out of mana. The DK also in the front lines has taken quite a bit of damage. This Blade Master is going too uncontested, I feel. Now eating the focus, but the Spirling is actually not there on him. He's getting healed up. We have the heal score, but now eating a focus fire and again the Blade Master dies. Where is your invul, man? Why don't you get it? I don't understand. Now the TC being focused. He has the invul. He's going to be able to stomp. Well, in a few seconds he's out of mana and without the blade, where is the damage? Really, it was a good start for the Orc, but that happened so many times. Level 5 now for the DK. Finishing this game in style with a Coil Nova kill on the TC and it's GG. It's the 1-0 for WFC. Yeah, I mean... Shouldn't be a surprise that if you lose your hero five times that you lose the game. Was it five times? Yeah, it was uh, twice the TC. It was five times. Actually. Twice the TC and uh, yeah. three times the Blade Master. I mean, that is ridiculous. Yeah. That cannot happen on top level Warcraft. I mean, apart from that, his game was pretty good. I still question the decision to not go for at least one Walker in the the late mid game or whatever. Transition, in my opinion, way too late. Um, yeah. I, it is. <laughs> he was asking for it though. If you yeah. if you play TC second without uh, Spirit Walkers, the undead has to focus your heroes. It's just way too easy to do. Oh. And he has made it work before, but there he was in better shape. That is just so hard to do, man. You have to bait the dust, wait until the dust is gone, then use your Blade Master to run to the opposite side of the army. Then when he gets focused, you run away with Windwalk. Then you position your TC for the perfect stomp. It is so hard to do. And this time he doesn't quite make it work. Yeah, especially if you're not in that... Uh, if you're not beast mode fly and you know you're struggling a bit, why are you taking these big risks? Yeah, the Europeans, for example, are always going the safer route with the Shadow Hunter. Sometimes with walkers, sometimes not. That's kind of a preference thing. But yeah, TC without walkers, that is super hardcore. I love seeing it. It's so high risk, so high reward. But... Uh, Oftentimes also falls on its face. As we saw here on AZ, big chance for Fly, in my opinion, missed. And now he's facing el elimination. The champion is facing elimination. Just one more map and he's out. And another undead, or the first undead, would make it to the quarterfinals. As uh, we expect 1-0 to, to follow him uh, later, of course, next week. Uh, you know, there's Rudan in his way. There's Rudan in his way. There's life in his way. And uh, let's not forget about Lun. I heard he's pretty good as well. That's nice, okay. Okay, from time to time he has some standout performances, but... Twisted is next! I think, you know, he could take a map or two of me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> of you? Yeah. Okay. Again, the same as it was... Whoops. The same as it was uh, two days ago, the first time they met. Mm -hmm. Twisted Meadows is going to be the Orc choice. Um, and there, of course, WZ lost. This didn't change his mind for his map vetoes. I really wonder what he bans. Terranus, maybe? Mm-hmm. Possible. Now we see the re uh, the highlights again. It was a pretty good start to the fight. The Kodos get to eat co uh, A bomb and fiend and these stomps, man, just crazy. But you have three stomps and that's it. After that, you kind of have to have won the fight already. The Blade Master also got to take uh, deal out a lot of damage without being focused and without having any items. But I think this is where it's going to change. And yeah, now he starts to eat the focus. The Spirit Link doesn't hit him. A little bit unfortunate, but it could have also been dispelled, of course. And he's so close to Windwalk Manor, but he doesn't quite get it. He was silenced as well. Ah, oh, he was silenced. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, so. all, it's so hard to micro all of that, like Spirit Link reapplying, uh, dis uh, dispelling the silence, the Blade Master positioning, the Kodo eating, the end snares. It's really hard to do. There's a reason why in Europe we have few top uh, orcs and a lot of top night elves. Few top night elves? A few, only few top orcs and a lot of top. Ah, night elves. ah yeah, yeah, okay, 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 I see. Some night elf burns have to come. <laughs> <laughs> well deserved, of course. Yeah. I think he can come back. Twisted is pretty damn good uh, for Orc in general. If he has the time and there's not like a crazy Lich first Tower Rush or whatever, he can creep up the entire game basically. Expansion is pretty easy as well, especially if he goes to Tier 3, which he always does. Yeah. And uh, you can go Triple Hero, always find uh, Creep Swats. Blade Master always knows where the Undead is. You can always evade. You got the speed scroll if things get too dangerous. 
So no surprise in the map number two, which we're heading into right now, Twisted. And yeah, it's going to be up to fly. He has to win this map. Much easier than I would almost say any other map for mm -hmm. Orc. Especially if you go the TC second route, which seems to be his thing. Wouldn't be surprised to see it again. Echo Elf could be another great Orc map, but I doubt that we will see that. So, map number two. Will it be 2-0 for WFZ and therefore an under in the playoffs? Or does the champion come back? He could be eliminated twice on the same day. What a disaster this would be. As he plays 2-2, two and two, loser bracket semi-final later with Shishi versus Law Lyot and Focus in a Night Elf Orc, Night Elf Orc Mirror. Cross position on TM, that should fit both of them, right? Yeah, probably even better for the Orc, uh, because if he goes for the TC, if he goes for the triple hero, he wants to buy time for his leveling to be done. Uh, again, from the Undead, we see the Ted Fiends. Seems like he plays this always, all the time, on every map. We haven't seen an exception yet. Um, usually, the way this goes in the early game is both players will be contesting these camps here, the Nulls. The four. This is a very big map, but the four Nulls are pretty close to each other, especially if you have Boots of Speed and Windwalk to work with, or the Unholy Aura. Um, usually, the Orc will try to creep that. If he expects some harassment to be coming in, he might be going for the Tome of Experience Gamble instead. But he also has to look out for the Undead Creeping, because the DK with only Skeletons can take this, thanks to uh, Critters that are everywhere around the map here. And yeah, with those, can take out one of them, or two of them very easily, and then the big one after. And that shouldn't really be allowed, because it's much easier for the Orc to contest this, to keep this from happening, than it is for the Undead on the other side. So, if both players do it perfectly, I would say the Orc is slightly ahead of inexperience. And if the Orc is lazy, the Undead is uh, just as far uh, in progress as the Orc is. Yeah, that's true. Both can find amazing items, of course, for WFZ. It is uh, the items that, that give you mana and damage on the Lich. <coughs> well, mana in general and damage on the Lich, as well as a few auras for the Orc. I think everything is good, right? I mean, he will be focused, so HP... Items are good, he needs agility for damage, so these items are good. He needs mana on the Shadow Hunter if he goes triple hero, so these items are good. There's not too much that he uh, should or would sell. Yep. Especially these uh, merchant creeps, which are also in the laboratories. Are under uh, very, very rewarding if you get those Scourge Bone Chimes, uh, with the and so on and so on. And there we can see the Undead going for some creeping right away, not even bothering with uh, denying his creeping from the opponent. And this early stage is already going his way because the Blade Master is not even going for the TOE gamble or his Knolls, fearing harassment to be coming in, just going for the tiny Knolls. And the Acolyte is scouting this. He knows he's safe to creep that camp over there. The Grunt is coming in to harass now, but with the investment of a coil or maybe two, he should definitely be getting this Overseer, and that almost gets him to level two already. Yeah, last hit for the Grunt here on the Skeleton, so first blood for the Orc. Yeah, he gets the coil, he gets the kill, and the Claws, which is of course nice. Second Grunt and the Blade Master both venturing out. Oh, yeah, now they're going to the Nulls, but as you mentioned, this has been scouted. Will WFZ go for his own creeping? Yes. He is a little ego maniac today, and not uh, going for the RS. I mean, versus check he was very aggressive maybe that's why fly refrained from um, from doing something risky here early on but all right getting close to level two as well crit will hit and both players are going for tier two once again no one burrow attack it is the usual double burrow attack here for fly and he takes a lot of time and takes a lot of damage on this overseer Ooh, Blake, uh, the DK is coming there in. There was a dust of appearance, man. The this DK is this coming might in. be the kill, but he doesn't have the dust. This shouldn't be the kill or the level up, but actually he was in Windwalk as well. And the circlet that helped a lot, man. But already after three but minutes, don't I don't really know. Um, big advantage for WFZ, I think. Even though he's a little down in experience and he doesn't have the aura yet, what can the Blade Master do? He can, just can wait and see and look what WFZ is doing. I mean, the Fiend number is growing, you know, the creeping potential is growing exponentially with that. And, okay. Is he going for this Warlord now? Fly playing very passively, just creeping all yeah, the time. And the scouting this time with the Skeletons is really good. Against Jack especially, I thought it was very lackluster. But in this series so far, 
Pretty well done. Boots of Speed being purchased now by the Blade Master. Very strong with these two circles and his level two. Won't be able, most likely, to keep the Undead from his level. Oh, he already has level two here with the Aura. Mm -hmm. Gonna get some more rods. And yeah, it's so easy on Twisted for the Grunts to creep these Nulls. And usually you can use the Blade to keep the Death Knight busy and the Grunts will get level three for you. He's scouting in the wrong place, man. He knew... Okay, he's going for a natural, most likely, but he was scouting the wrong one. Oh, actually, only the little green spot, so maybe he can catch up now. When it's almost losing a grunt, can't really switch the, the aggro. <laughs> Sometimes they just don't want to. I don't know what that is. Sometimes he has his mindset. Uh, but now he's going to find his opposition. Not going to be able to get the last hit, but he's getting closer. And still not able to find him. So this is usually good for the orc. Big map with lots of creeps to take. Uh, hard for the undead to find you, but sometimes that can also bite you in the ass when the blade master really wants to find the UD. And finally, he's gonna be able to get it. As he, oh, is it actually nighttime too far away? No. And the grunts, where are they? Still creeping on the other side of the map. Should be level three with this for the blade master, or at least very close. But he has put some speed here. He's in a good position to chase these fiends. Might be draining a lot of mana out of this DK now. Yeah, he has uh, three coils left. There is level three, level two wind walk. A big thing on big maps. This is so important for the longer wind walk duration. Here's the first coil, and now that he's on blight and he has the lich to support him, uh, shouldn't be a big problem. Grunts are all a little hurt. This one is severely hurt. So that doesn't help. TC second again. Tier three tech started. Beast three second. And still no lodge. Pretty sure it's going to be an SH this time, though, so that's going to help a little bit. But of course, before the SH is level 3, the healing isn't too impressive, to be honest. So, the longer the game goes, the better it is for Fly, in my opinion. He's looking for a long drone up here. Yeah. yeah. Blade Master, uh, I mean, the Death Knight, level 2.3, and the Lich has progress himself. Very passive game by both uh, sides. Starting the next creep spots now. And uh, Berserker strength for the grunts so they get a little more HP, but he seems to be a little indecisive fly and where to go next and what to do next. I mean, he's moving back and forth and back and forth, not really knowing what to do. Focus on the Blade Master now, still trying to get a fiend, but he is unsuccessful with that. Draining the Lich a bit with the Frost Armor, we have seen that before. Doesn't really make a big difference, I'm not so sure. All right, going for the big rock golem now for the consumable. It seems he really prefers the berserker because why would you creep this if he could just creep the gold mine here instead? And yeah, again we have the berserker purchase. I mean, against destroyers, that's pretty good, but we don't really see destroyers until there are walkers. So I'm not so sure I'm sold on this berserker. Well, I guess he only has one production facility, but he's not producing out of it yet. Mm, I don't know. Not uh, not so convinced that this is the best route to take. No, me neither. And the Blade Master, since his level up, has exactly zero experience. No steal, no kill, no nothing. Right, but his control here is trying to stay out of range for the dust and time it perfectly. Did he get hit? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he did. So sick. Just the split second when he moved in, WFZ hit it. And can he get the wall out nevertheless? He's getting the backstab, hoping for a crit, gets the rope of the Magi, but not the experience. And he used the invul for this, so it was pretty expensive, yeah. but worth it, I believe. The rope almost one more stomp, and we saw those stomps being so incredibly effective. And if a TC has three or four, that makes a big difference in the fight. Okay, maybe we'll swap it over to the TC. We're going to see about, uh, to the Shadow Hunter. We're going to see about that. He has two big consumables now on his side, and tier three is reached. I'm still waiting for the third hero, which we don't see currently. Second pick invul. Oh, that's really good. That is so good, actually, for him. That is also really good synergy with the heal cells. You can keep that running and there's no way of cancelling that. And of course, survivability on the heroes was the issue in map number one. And is always the issue if you don't have healing or spirit link. Now the TC is running away. He has the scroll of speed, so nothing should be dying here, honestly. And it won't. So he gets away scot-free. Yeah, everything was super low. And it's a Dark Ranger again. Doesn't seem to be a Pitlord fan, WFZ. Of course, everything for the Orc was down to 50%, so speed scroll, definitely a good one. Trying to go for the Fiend with a crit here, but nah, Coil always there. There's still two more. Good mana management from WFZ. Oh, he gets an item here. Gloves of face being stolen, Blade Master tried to go for it. The Orb of Corruption was on the ground for a second. Imagine <laughs> if the Blade Master steals that man. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah, no, a nightmare. Yeah. Is the TC level 3? No, he's not. So he's not looking for the fight. Okay, no surprise. Kodo is coming, Shadowhunter is coming, halfway out, and then we have finally Hex and Heal Wave, both such 
valuable skills to have against Undead. But, oh, can you steal this one? This oh, he one? stayed out of range. Really well done. Yeah, and he gets the item. Wow. And the wow. oh, racers! Bing, ding, ding, ding! Jackpot! Oh, really well done. And actually, I think WZ was a little bit slow there. I think he could have picked that up if he had just been a little faster on the trigger. But, Fly... He's been losing his blade master quite a bit, to be uh, you know, to be honest. But still, his control at times is amazing. Pretty surprised that his blade master didn't die in this game so far. <laughs> it's not over yet, though. <laughs> that's right. Healing everything up, and that's a lot of mana for the shadow hunter already. Rune brace is still on the blade master as well as the orb of lightning, and s uh, slow or purge on the statues is always welcome uh, from the orcish side. Do we have the late game Banshee transition again? No. No, he went for an early destroyer attack this time. And no Spirit Walkers either here out of the Spirit Lodge. Red Spot. Ooh, Steph of Silence! Wow! Hello, speaking oh my of God. jackpots! Dude, the disable on the TC <laughs> is gonna be ridiculous. Or on the Shadowhunter, whichever you prefer. So Double Silence. Imagine on the TC. I hope he's used to that because we have seen pros that get this item but they never use it because it's so rare. Yeah. Takes a lot of micro of course. And spell shield. <laughs> oh, also good. Blocking a coil or a nova. Every 40 seconds only. So I guess uh, the honored getting the better item here. But still oh, both good. Oh, this is going to be a big micro fight coming up. Both players not yet in upkeep. And here comes the creep jack. We have a destroyer in the air already. Which I'm slightly surprised about. After all there are no walkers. Maybe fearing the Hex, but most likely going to be Heatwave on level 1, where he's a, a third hero, Shadowhunter. Fly with the, bla uh, with the um, Headhunter transition now. Don't know if he really wants to fight it. He has Hex or Heatwave, but only on level 1. Expansion is coming up, though, for Fly. It's not a tiny Great Hall, it's a normal one. And WFC does not have a shade right now, so the Blade Master can scout everything. He sees the Staff of Silent, he sees the Lich as a Gatling gun that hits hard. But it's not level 3. And if a few ends there that slows fly here, I could definitely see the orc engaging. Does he have a speed scroll? Yes, yes he, he does. does. Spell shield on the blade master as well, as well as rune braces. He's engaging now. What's he doing? Speed scroll, here we go. Silence number 1. Where's number 2? We're waiting for it. Kodo has eaten a fiend. And the purge on the destroyer, man. So strong at the stomp. Was good. Was very good, I think. DK can still call him. There was Burrow reveal being used. So dead fiend immediately. TC being focused. Is there a heal wave? Is there a potion? Yeah. Invo potion being used. Two destroyers in the air. He can get rid of the grunts easily. Next stomp. That was hitting a lot. But where's the blade master? Okay, taking care of the heavy air. Level two on the shadow hunter, who still has a lot of mana points. TC has stomped again, and the death knight is also suffering. Lich and focus. Cr two critical strikes in a row. He shifts the focus. Silence now. But the shadow hunter is untouched, and he can heal up. Coil on the decay. Blade master has invul and can be healed, but forces the town portal out now. Will he be lucky with crits? No, he won't. But gets uh, almost getting the feed. Nice fight by Fly. Yeah, those items certainly coming in big, especially the greater invo on the TC. Kind of disabling the mass silence, of course. If you're invulnerable, you can't get silence. And the Blade Master, it's not really like you can focus him. It would be so inefficient with the Rune Bracers and with the, uh, what's it called, Spell Shield. And now Tome of Experience for the Shadow Hunter, getting closer to level 3. The and flute. The flute, man. Yeah. And on Headhunters? And he has two range units at the moment. Yeah, but he will have more on the Blade Master's range as well if he attacks. Uh, yeah, that's 10% of the Blade Master. Yeah, I think there's a lot better stuff there, though. What will the Undead find? Flute for him? For him, of course, it is fantastic. Everything but the DK has range for it, but everything's so hurt at the moment. Desperately needs a statue. And we have the late game Banshee transition again. Is there walkers on the horizon somewhere? No, but the expo about to finish. Oh man, if he's not going for walkers again, man, this could break his neck for the second consecutive time. I'm fearing for the life of Fly. But his heroes are getting there, man. He's at four on the TC, three on the SH, and that was his downfall in the first series that the two met, uh, played two days ago, where the heroes just got out of control. But there were no banshees there this time. That time. Well, in a few games they were, but not on Twisted. Yeah. Uh, for now, for the DK, probably going for the Death Pact again. I don't think he scouted the Expo yet, but he sent three yeah, skeletons. skeletons. I'm pretty I'm sure he scouted it because uh, also took damage, so he knows what's going on. Oh, okay. PM's he has to kind of all in there. Yeah. 
Late Master is scouting for a Creepjack, but far, far away. Lots of skeletons, thanks to the Dark Ranger, of course. But it's far away, attack. so... He can't even cancel this burrow, I think. And Fly, he knows what's about to come. This expansion will be attacked. He still has the Greater Invol on the TC. He has three stars at the ready. I think a mana potion would be pretty cool, but uh, not yet. SH, full mana. More than 450 mana pool. Blade Master, he is honestly not that impressive. He's not even level 4 and no big damage item, so it might be a good idea to just let him be and try to kite him with, with Frost Armor. But also not that easy to nuke, so you can't get rid of him that quick, so he can stay longer in the fight and maybe that makes up for the damage. Of course, it's not that crazy single target uh, critical that we're used to, especially on a map like TR or TM. DK, by the way, has a mana potion. Oh, this could be a big creep, Jack. Ooh, the shade again. He's not scouting consecutively for shades, but okay, we have a straight up um, engagement here. Two Kodo beats the rock column is still helping. Yes, they just Oh no! What is this? Flies losing the hero again. What a mistake. Again, no invul on the vulnerable heroes. I can't believe this keeps on happening. Losing another Berserker as well. The Grunt will most certainly be falling. One of the Raiders here, very hurt, getting killed by the Nova. This is the level up for the Dark Ranger. The Lich is looking for more pickoffs. He has the slow, of course, with the Nova. And one more Raider misrallied. Fly! Throwing this game away in ridiculous fashion. Suddenly we have 68 supply for the under against only 56 left. And I think now he has to go for the base attack, for yeah. the base lane. He can't look for a straight up fight anymore. Shadow Hunter bought back at the tavern, uses the clarity, but of course that's not how he wanted it to be. Level 4 on the TC, but not on the Blade Master. So critical strike is, lack is, is, is lacking here. Uh, depth upgrade for the Banshees. He's going for the trade. Expansion for Fly versus main base for WFZ. Who's faster? Does anybody have a town port? Yes, WFZ has it and he uses it. Black Citadel only halfway down and we oh might have a fight in the undead base. Oh, af aggressive town portal. Where is the Nova? Nice stun by Fly. He's going to lose only one grunt here. That's of course uh, okay. He will be happy with this. The expansion remains alive. Peon still all also alive. So, the Undead will win the fight at the moment. For the next, I don't know, minute or two, he has the way bigger and better army. But... This game is not about winning Players the fight, this game is about attack. having buildings left. <laughs> and this is going to turn into an Orc Worker game, it feels like the Orc is going to try to outmaneuver his position as best he can. Skeletons are moving towards the Expo, but they will be expiring soon and they can't even kill these peons so easily because there yeah. is a reinforced burrow there. Yeah. This is really hard decision time now for the Undead. How do you defend and attack simultaneously in a if good way that gives you the victory. If he gets a fight now, man, this would be so crazy for uh, for WFZ because the Kodo Beasts are both in the base, losing a lot of damage, trying to force another town portal, but WFZ way too cool. Um, going for the Blade Master here, plugging the uh, Spell Shield. Oh, he's, yeah. he's splitting off the Dark Ranger here. Okay. I would love if she had a Staff of Teleportation. <laughs> that would be cool indeed. Scouting for expansions all the time. But and he flies buying more time. He's getting a good yeah. and strong army again. But the Kurubis are still not with the army. He has so much in his base. He can't get a fight. He has two headhunters, one raider, one walker. Is there okay, second walker is coming as well as the dispel upgrade. Is that enough time? I think he has to portal, right? Is under siege. He doesn't have one, though, and he doesn't have the resources at all. Can he maybe cancel some production? Yes, he certainly can to get some resources <laughs> there. Or does he just let it fall? He's not getting the TP. Shadow Hunter, is he thinking about it? He's certainly thinking about it. Nice. He doesn't do it though. Uh, does he have a speed scroll? Oh, and now these peons giving so many skeletons. And again, there is no disenchant. The hate of the walkers. Actually, he's going for it now, but it's so late. It is so late into this game. He can defend it, I guess. If he engages right now. Oh, because the skeleton snowball here, of course, the normal damage. Okay, here he comes. Flies last stand, maybe. If he loses this expansion, that could be game. Is the Shadow Hunter this time prepared? No invul potion again. Will WFC capitalize? We're going to see about that. Blade Master taking care of a crit uh, of the fiend. Boom, crit. Down she goes. The TC is silent, but for how much longer? The fiends are look uh, are standing around him. Silence is off. Where's the storm? 
can go for one now, and there it is! Big one hitting right there, level 4 level up for the Leech, he can now eat for a lot of additional mana, but everything is starting to get really low for the Undead, this concave for the Orc is massive, <laughs> level 4 for the Blade Master, 60 supply left for him, and the Undead short behind going for the Blade, but he is so tanky with those Rune Bracers, and the next Stomp hitting very, very well, TC doesn't have mana at the moment, but will have more very soon, and still the Great Rainbow, Blade, the Blade Master though, again, taking the damage, taking the beating, the Spirit Link makes him tanky, but not tanky enough, and again, he loses the blade. Are you serious, man? One more Kodo Beast is in trouble. So is the Dark Ranger and the Lich. Everything is dropping so low. 51 supply for the undead. We have Invul still left. The TC now out of mana. Suddenly a lot less scary. Where is the damage <laughs> output in this army? He only has a few headhunters. But there's... Oh, the T DK. Now they're getting focused, but he has the death pack. Yeah, used it for the second time. He's still in focus, man. And Snare, where's the next one? Has the TC still mana? No, he has not, but a big Invul. He wants the hero kill somehow. Sends this uh, Kodo away who has eaten a skeleton weird choice. The headhunters have to do the damage. They get rid of the statues that should be here. And the casters are the next uh, victims here for the Orc. Everything is falling except the heroes. The DK is super duper low. He can't eat anymore for... Yeah, and that, that has to be it, man. WFZ is so low. Kodo Beast is falling. Dude. Oh, Dude. Skeleton's MVP. Skeleton's MVP. He doesn't have enough, enough disenchant, but the DK... Is there a statue in the back? No, there is not. There's Death Pact, he could eat the Banshee or something, going for the TC maybe now, but he still has the Greater Invul, getting more and more kills! But now he's going for the DK. Death Pact has to be used, but on what is the question? Has to use it now, come on! He doesn't do it! He goes for the kill instead, that's his level 5, he's gonna get the Kodo as well, I believe! Yes, he is, and gets the Fiend not back? Did it just get devoured? Has to be devoured, end? but Jesus Christ. Sick fight by both players, man. Unbelievable entertainment by WFZ and Fly. And the expansion is still standing. Look at this 300 HP. This could be the X Factor in this game as the main gold mines are about to, it, uh, are about to collapse. The Blade Master is going to be back, and what is more scary even, I think, is the TC is inches away from level 4 or 5. Yeah. And level 3 Stomp yeah. is like one of those lowest GG skills. <laughs> it is really, really strong. He's not going to creep, he's going back to his expansion, he wants to keep it alive. Going shopping a little bit more with the big milk cow. Doesn't have much mana, honestly. So at the moment, only one ridiculous Stomp might be two with a level up. But here we go again. These walkers now so valuable. The spirit link for the damage mitigation is severely required. We have a destroyer though up in the air. One ghoul tanking in the front lines. The blade master is back. The raiders dying like flies so late into the game. Oh, but now the DK in trouble. Being focused with the end snare. But the silence comes out. Disenchant, however, is there going to be some crits onto this Death Knight? The Hex as well, very well timed. Does he have to dispel? Yes, he does. Death Pack keeps him alive. He's not surrounded anymore. Where's the Frost Armor? He needs it bad. Invul being transferred. Dodging the stomp with it. Are you kidding me? Going for the Raiders once more. There's no more mana on this cow. Can't stomp any longer, but the Lich is being focused. He has the Invul. Over. The Blade Master, is he losing it again? You can't be serious. You cannot be serious. He loses the first hero once more, and he has to fight without the Blade. The TC out of mana. He has the expo against zero income on the undead side, but he might still be losing it because there's no more damage in this army. He has to run away. There's no more Nova. DK. He's oh, the DK. He keeps himself alive, though, and the Raiders, they just keep on falling. There's nothing against the Lich that he can do. He has to focus the statue here. Unbelievable stupidity by Fly. The Raiders, first one down, next one down. Oh my god, another end snare. But he doesn't have the damage anymore. TC is the carry of Fly, but on what costs, man? This is unbelievable. No income for WFZ anymore, but now he kills the expansion. He kills the peons. Fly has 140 gold left. It's the Blade Master back. Yeah, one third. And the next Kodo is coming too. But will... <laughs> I mean the Undead Heroes. <laughs> Five, four, four. <laughs> and so much health. So much mana regeneration from all the skeletons. This synergy is sick. And if you, yeah, I mean, if you lose your heroes once again three times, he lose, he lost his heroes eight times in two maps. And it's not over yet. And it's not over yet, indeed. Blade Master's being revived at the altar. I think that one will be falling, Ooh. but he has more than enough resources. This is gonna be super close. I don't think he wants to risk it. I think he's gonna buy him back at yeah, the tavern. Yeah, cancelled it, getting it from the tavern. But is there a heal? Oh, there's a clarity and heal wave. 37 food versus 37. This is so equal. The Lich is 8 XP away from level 5. The expansion is still not killed, by the way. 
And the acolytes with a headbutt takes a while. <laughs> Send one Bang acolyte by the against way the wall. Uh, home to sell some stuff. Going for more statues. Mana, of course, is the most important resource right now. And here he has an invul on the black master again. this time. He learned finally. All good things are three. We're gonna see about that. Silence, but silence does not affect critical strike. That stomp though. All the casters. Not too much crit. This could be the saving grace for Fly. It would be incredible if he w still wins this game. Kodo might get away. No frost one hungers. Fiend is back. This means li Lich level th uh, level five and Nova level three. Nice stomp again. Another fiend dead. Or can he get a coil out? He has no mana for it. D uh, the Dark Ranger. Is and problems is ensnared and is dead. The t oh my god, Blade Master getting up to five, but is in danger. This time, the invul potion. This time, the ensnare on the decay. This time, no skeletons anymore. This has to be it somehow. The TC is he dropping low? Yes, he is. There's gonna be one more heal wave. He has the mana potion. Now, Fly is smelling blood in the water like a shark. Stomp coming out. This has to be the first hero kill. There's nothing really anymore to death back, and the critical strike finishes the life of the DK. And that is the win for Fly in the end. <laughs> GG. <laughs> what a game to draw this series <laughs> to an even 1-1. One, one. We're going full distance once again. It is... Oh, this guy here. Equalizer. But so many mistakes again. This is... <sighs> How about in a game like this? Come on. Let's, let's not overanalyze. This was high entertainment. Yeah, that's right. That's this definitely really true. Cool. <laughs> but he, <laughs> he knows, <laughs> man. He knows. But also WFZ towards the very end, he could have killed the expo, but he decides to go for the altar. Yeah, that, that was, was really greedy. greedy. That may have cost him the game, honestly. Yeah, he thought, uh, okay, I'll leave my acolytes and my skeletons there. Should be enough damage because he can't come back without the blade master. But he didn't calculate that there's uh, enough resources for the tavern. I think. Oh yeah, my god! Yeah. Let's watch this again. This, this was insanity. Nice. Wow. Seriously, so much buffs and debuffs. Look at the concave, man. You're never supposed to lose a fight like this. But also, everything is cursed. Everything that is important is cursed, and there's no dispel against it. And the Storm's hitting well. But at some point, he's out of mana if he doesn't have a mana potion, and then he's not that threatening anymore. And yeah, when the Blade Master is gone, you can fight like with 30 supply less, and it's okay, as long as the heroes have mana. And there it is. He waved. Oh, okay, it's going to take a little longer for him to die. Uh, here he comes now. He moves in, and there's Coil. There's heal wave, uh, heals up to save him, oh, but not so much longer. So, so yeah. key on the SS. Yeah, really good timing by WFC. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the game's over right there. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's long gone from being over. No blade master. We will see no more game. highlights. That was really cool, man. And he killed basically everything, but the heroes kept WFC in the game. <laughs> it's also, also a very crazy factor. These skeletons, actually. I think without walkers, that game would have been over so quick. But it seemed like very, very late walkers, but it was just barely in time. Yeah. The DK save there. If there's a Blade Master, of course, he's dead like three times. Yeah. I wonder why he didn't eat the Banshee. Maybe he could have stayed in longer. But this skeleton synergy is uh, is just sick. You can eat them all the time, get your HP back, get your mana back. Therefore, unlimited uh, mana and almost HP. But yeah, he's trying to go for this DK kill there already, but there was a TP. Uh? You have to close the game. Oh. That game. Oh, fuck. Alright, invite here. <coughs> We're getting ready for the next game. Lobby is hosted, as we see the last highlights. The Kodo dies there, damage gone, or the, the damage aura gone, so even more damage mitigation uh, together with Curse, but the Storms, this radius is just insane. And this time, really, the Invul potion on the Blade Master. He was focusing him again, but then finally, <laughs> finally, he was saved by the potion. At that stage, also, the Ander was really low on mana. He could have killed the Expo, run back home. The Altar would have given back the Blade Master, yes, but he could have mana back up with a statue. But I don't know who 
who won that game. That was just way too fun. Next map is going to be Ancient Isles. That's going to be the Undead's map choice. Going to be a lot harder to make Triple Hero work. So we're going to have a different game this time. True that. A lot smaller. Creeping not so easy. Level 3 not so easy. Expanding not so easy. Let's have a last view on our contestants in a bit. I always have to look at this monitor, so that's why I'm not looking into the camera, by the way. The game has started. Fly at the bottom. WFZ at the top. I think production is asleep right now. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no production this time. No last view on uh, the players. But here we go, everybody. Equalizer, one map for glory. One map for dropping out. And WFZ sticks to his guns. He's going for the Ted Fiends again. So six maps versus Fly, zero times Fast Fiends. Seems like he is set in his ways. Worked for the most part, though, out of the five that we've had so far, he has been able to win three. But the next one, this is what really counts. True that. I would give the edge to WFZ. He's just played better throughout the, uh, the entire two series. But sometimes it's not about that. Sometimes it is about an item, as we saw yesterday, Focus versus Romantic, the Book of the Dead, mm -hmm. that made everything uh, uh, work. And now it's also about nerves, I think. This yeah. is where the pressure is the highest. This is what it's all about. Their first encounter, they still had in the back of their minds, all right, I got the safety net of the lower bracket, so, you know, no worries. But now, if you drop out here, you get zero monies and zero glories. And if you get to move on, you play with the seven best players in the world for the title of the world champion. Can WFZ withstand this pressure? Fly certainly can. He's been here several times winning big offline tournaments. WFZ, he won tournaments as well, but they were online. So this is going to be the true test for him. Okay, of course he decides to go for a Blade Master. There's no Farseer, no TC first and then against, obviously. DK... Ted Fiends, as you mentioned, and yeah, this is a really bad orc map, I think, um, except they can go for the red spots, and maybe that gives them an edge. Uh, with Ensnare, of course, they can go for the dragons early, that could also give them good items, but I think they're very uh, item dependent here. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think Orcs oftentimes are. The Blade Master, if he finds, like, nothing, he's uh, pretty damn underwhelming. And it's, of course, no Echo Isles, where you can easily stack up and always rely on that. There's a few claw spots, the first one being taken right here. On Amazonia, he was unlucky with the ring first. Let's see what it's going to be. The ring again. Oh, that is, of course, not what he wanted. DK coming in for harass, seeing if maybe Fly made a mistake by taking too much damage on the grunt, maybe being able to take that out via coil, but of course, that's not going to be happening to the world champion. Oh, this trapper should be secured with the last hit coil. There's no reveal. He does. Okay, yeah, well, there is. And he gets the skeleton for that, so a little more experience. And the warrior remains alive for the TC or the shadow hunter. Will he switch his tactics this time, this map for now. TC? It's really dangerous. Man. Yeah. It's, uh, you have to venture out far onto the map to do natural to get level 2 or for the merchant, which is way, way easier. But you're far out and it's easy for the undead to creep jack you. And you know that the undead is playing Ted Fiend. So that means that your second hero is not faster. And Frost Armor is just so strong in that stage of the game. I think it would be too risky to go for, but this is fly. So who knows? Yeah, I would highly advise to get a early walkers as well, but... We never know with this guy. He is playing this matchup differently, and he was very successful for the longest time. But the undeads, since uh, the his descent, they are becoming stronger and stronger every week, everywhere in the world, except in Korea, I think. But Lucifer, of course, also a Jera Cup winner, so never count him out. And it is again a two-borough attack, again more grunts, and again the UFC is slightly ahead in tech. Black Master's finding some creeps here, circlet for him, sold the ring of course, level 2, critical strike uh, is at the ready. And the Death Knight, quite far behind, but that is always the case and shouldn't worry him. I like his creeps, uh, his grunt spread here, um, how he's trying to keep tabs because the undead can creep up pretty greedily with skeletons only and that's the spots he's checking, so I like how he's 
pulling out all the tricks this time around. He has a boost of speed now, he has a critical strike. This DK is so far away from level 2, so he could chase him down, especially with the speed scroll. I think WZ is expecting the orc here at the red camp, but nope, that's not happening. Keeping the ground. Oh, that's cool. He keeps him out of vision. Ah, uh, and then he wanted to go for the red camp when he thought the undead was gone. But now the fiend getting caught out, and this is either gonna die or take all of the mana out of the DK. All right. Oh, so many hits and such a great blocking again by Fly. First coil, but the grunts are there again. The bouncers, they say, uh uh, you're not going home today. You're staying here with me. And the next, oh, this is magnificent. Second coil. This is, <laughs> this is so well done. And that's, of course, what he's known for early Unbelievable. game. Unbelievable. Oh, is there a slip now? No. Oh, third coil for one fiend. And this is already worth it, even though if he doesn't get it. Yeah. Now blocking with the DK. And but get it as well. Yeah, wind walk, of course, the only investment that Fly is doing here. Oh. And the grunts yeah, he's say There's no way hello. To say yeah, it. against the boots. No way to say and it. Maybe deny. <laughs> nope. Too smart for oh, that. Can you, can you do the same to the DK? Ah, no, he can't. Really well done. And he may have slowed down his <gasps> own creeping here, but more importantly, the DK. And what is what's going on? In the base of Spirit Fly, Lodge. everybody. Spirit Lodge. Who oh, would have nice. thought? Going TC and Spirit Lodge and Tier 3. Going a little bit safer this time. I like it. And WFZ, man, getting off to a really bad start. 1-1 yeah, one, one heroes. No mana, basically. Far from level two, and lost this is a fiend. Easy for okay. Fly to creep the wall out now. Oh, you dude. Oh, a book of the dead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're both thinking the same. Yeah. If this happens, the game honestly might be kind of over already. Ankh. It's not though. All right. Ankh is uh, for the shop, I guess. But where and how is WFZ supposed to f uh, find experience now? Doesn't even have a rod of necromancy. He skips on them so much. <sighs> He can't finish this camp. He may be able to get the troll warlord, but he can't finish this Yeah, the that will be his... Uh, and same thing, though. If he gets the Book of the Dead here, goes for the burrows, he will keep fly uh, supply stuck for a long time. Is that maybe the gamble he's going for? Ankh. Okay. Anton Alice decides, this is not how I want this series to end. I want you to fight for uh, blood and honor. Skeleton scouting again very good. Keeping tabs all the time. Also the Acolyte all on the map. The, 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 so for some reason WFC is hiding a fiend in the base. Okay, now he's uh, unburrowing them. Blade Master is out. Level 3 for him. So longer wind walk, easier to chase. And the TC is finding the levels in the middle of the map. Quick reaction here with the burrow. Oh, but there's a dust actually on the Blade Master. Very unusual. Of course he has a lot of slots, so why not? Is he going to lose the fiend here to the second wind walk? Oh yes he is! Oh boy, this is this is so horrible. It's oh really bad. man. But fly. Oh, the ensnare. Is this the yes, nerves? The ensnare. Oh, uh, does he have enough damage? I think he has to be careful. Yeah. But, st he, but still, he doesn't want no mana. the hero death counter to go up to nine <laughs> <laughs> or double digits. This is definitely possible. Oh, and here comes the creep check, maybe. Acolyte saw this though. He has a speed scroll. But he gets the mage eye, that's the most important thing. Still level 1, yeah, no yeah. aura, because he's sharing the experience. He hits tier 3 on level 1. Yeah, Fly is getting so much out of this map. Level 3, level 2. Not the most amazing items, but still, watch a ward. Where did he place the first one, by the way? Um, uh, I don't know. You can't find it either. Maybe it has been the warder or Ah, here! In uh, the oh, upper yeah. left choke towards the middle. Uh, he's finally level 2. Only one coil at the ready though. Has to use it for the creep right there. And doesn't even get the item. Nope. Of course was the blade. Way. Oh, and stay on the DK. The TC is moving in. Where's the stomp? There we go. It is stomped, but is the damage enough? There is... Oh my god, the Death Knight dies, but he has the Ankh. Same goes... No, it's not the same goes for the TC, who is kind of in trouble there. He keeps this around close, but at least he tries to, doesn't oh, quite work. The no, TC dies! The TC dies My on level 2 and he couldn't swap the Ankh, but the surround on the DK, on the DK might be real. Can the Blade Master survive this? Ooh. Oh boy, this is so close. The Spirit Link helps here and snare again. TP out. And a lot of Orc stuff survives here. 49 food and 500 gold. But that was a good exchange for the Undead, getting the TC and the Grunt for only the TP. 
And he needs a uh, comeback like this. He's still trailing far behind in supply. 46 for the Orc against 42. Okay, not that far anymore for the Undead. But now moving out onto the middle of the map without level 3 DK, with very low HP and without a TP. And now he's going to buy the Dark Ranger most likely. Attack. Pit Lord! Oh! <gasps> Super all in! Dude! Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you crazy? <laughs> Let's see, will Howl of Terror bring the victory here? Or will the Spirit Link plus this spell do a nice deal again? Every single experience point th that oh WFC God. is not getting is so helpful for Fly. He's bringing the ghouls. This is gonna be an all-in. This seems to be like a super oh, all-in. If the TC gets to level 3, this hero choice is gonna become pretty painful, probably. But he doesn't commit to the base yet. TC mm, should be back soon. He, right? he, he built another cigarette. Maybe he's banking and then wants to push because he breaks earlier. Something like that. And he finally finds some experience here. He has map control at the moment. He's still no level 3 though. Yeah. TC is back. No Shadow Hunter. He rebuys the TP on the Death Knight. Oh. And TC. And two and a half. Coming from the north. Spirit Link. A lot of these units. Oh, this could be a juicy creep jack. Blade Master starting things off. A little too early, maybe. He has Invul Potions. Uh, okay, Invul Potion, sorry. On the Blade Master. So the TC again might find himself in danger. Kodo upgrading the next Kodo is coming for Fly, but that takes some time. Oh, he gets this uh, statue here, maybe. Is there a nuke? No, nope, other reveal. Doesn't want to use the mana just yet. Okay, now inches from level 3. But the army is retreating. Fly decides not to look for a fight before level 3 TC. This is definitely a game on a knife edge now. And uh, that knife, it of course, belongs to the Blade Master. Headhunter is coming. Kodo coming. The Blade Master is distracting the entire time. Does he still have dust? Yes, he does. So he can't go for the creeps here. The glitch is pretty high level. Yeah, level he goes three to 3 here. now. This changes a lot, by the way, and okay, TC is level 3 as well. Parry up, not too bad. We've seen how his heroes like to die. <laughs> well, I don't know if they like it, but they uh, definitely do it. Seems to be their hobby. And WFZ now is at 55 and going for a sacrificial oh, pit. Oh, the Boros, man. We don't have reinforced defenses yet. Do we have a TP on the Orc side? Too greedy. Nope! Oh, These oh, Boros oh, are all oh. dead! Oh, he was so far ahead, and with three destroyers, the good old destroyer push against Orc. This shouldn't work at all, but he wipes them out one by one. Three are dead, the fourth one is dead. He can he might be able to get a few peons on this as well. Does he want to fight here? Does he want to look for a few pickoffs, or is he just going to TP out? I think he's just going to TP out and then break upkeep and then push again and finish the game. Oh, he's in upkeep already, though. Mm -hmm. Of course. Every unit he, that he kills on the orc side can't be reproduced. This is so sick, he loses the entire economy! No income anymore for Fly, he has to take the oh. stomp on everything! The oh my god, can he get rid of the destroyers? First raider falls, the first fiend falls as well, the TC with the second stomp hitting everything again. Oh, the lich in trouble, is in a bad position, has the invul though the call comes before. Kodo Beast moving in for the devourer, but nicely microing against it. Devourer will not be happening if this Kodo falls, it's a lot of damage missing. The DK on the left side, very low as well, Kodo does die. Where's the blade master in all of this? In the middle of these destroyers, and it's hard to take them down without any headhunters. But the T DK has to TP out before the backstab comes, but this walker will be falling to the magic damage and that means the orc at 27 supply and he's supply blocked this is a look at the green he man. goes for look it look at the it green well it's not that bad because it gives you <laughs> it, it gives you 10 food yeah in two minutes in two minutes oh my god that's a, the destroyer push that this perhaps winning the game actually works in 2016 is unbelievable he it's goes for creeping now with the orb of uh, lightning of course super easy Find something that you have to sell, I guess. Boots of Keltalas, maybe? What is it? Yeah. Okay, okay, it's getting dangerous. But uh, uh, speaking oh, of dangerous, shade. WFZ is coming in. The uh, shade, of oh. course. Only five units left. Coil Nova, Raider down. Level three on the Pit Lord. And of course, the magic damage against the Walkers. It's so easy. Two units down. How can he contest this? 24 supply. Slowing down the Blade Master here with the Frost Armor. Good news is he can produce units again. <laughs>
And he can't even go for a base race here. He doesn't have any raiders. No, no. He gets a statue here. Uh, little consolation, though, all things considered. He has a heal potion. The coils don't hurt too much. And that was the last one. He has a mana potion, though. Is he really going for the base, or is he just trying to cut reinforcements or whatever? He has no statue anymore. Well, Boneyard, by the way. Yeah, and way in front. I mean, he can do Billion anywhere else. So that's going to take a long time. I think he's feeling very safe with this yeah. game, and we saw that before versus Jack. <laughs> Twice the this, supply this time, yeah, though. Th this game is looking different, I do have to agree. But Raiders are coming out. Base lame is going to commence. Of course, Fly can't look for a straight-up fight at the moment. There's no way he's winning one. No, no level maybe some pick-offs, maybe no, some pillage, so something like that. I mean, you can... If you are, like, super faithful, you can trust in Critical Strike, but not with level 1, with level 2 that is possible. He's get, he gets another Destroyer, so he's not doing the worst job. Oh, okay, excuse me, he's not gonna get it because uh, WFC is interfering here. No, but the rallies aren't so great. Actually, sends the statue back right there. He's trying to force a fight. Fly. Does he think he can take one? He's about 20 supply behind. The army doesn't look horrible anymore. He has two raiders, two headhunters, and a Kodo, which is, you know, not great, not horrible. Expansion is gone, by the way. In case he didn't show it before. Okay, is this really an engagement? Does he want to engage on the DK? There is nothing on the DK. Can he go for it? And snare? Oh, the stun does hit the fiends, but is it really worth it? TC is in problems, has an info potion, has to pop it, has to pop it, does so. One more stomp is coming in a bit. Blade Master is taking care of the DK, but he tanks a lot of damage, has a heal potion, but that's about it. He oh has to God. do the damage now. Oh my God. The Blade Master, no way. Blade Master, crit, but both die. TC <laughs> survives on four stomp and doesn't <laughs> get away. No heroes anymore. This should be it for Double WFC. Double deaths. Double digit deaths, boys. And now everything is being cleaned up by the Nova. How much mana does he have left? Not much. Oh my god. GG! GG! The reigning champion is not defending anymore. And the undead made his way into the quarterfinals. What a series this has been. That was by far the best one on one we've had oh, so far. Holy shit, indeed it was. Such a bad early game by WFZ, but then coming back swinging really strong. And yeah, <laughs> the champion <laughs> drops out. Out! He has one more chance to defend his title, but that is only the 2-2 two two competition. And that's, of course, not what he was looking for. He has to fight uh, later on again with the Joshishi versus Focus and La Lyad. And okay, here's some nice pictures. Has a bit of a smile on his face. Yeah, yeah. Ten hero kills in three maps. And it was still close. <laughs> I mean, going for the DK there was uh, definitely the Hail Mary with that army. You can't fight yeah. this. Too many destroyers. Too much damage in general. <laughs> we see highlights, I think so. Otherwise, this was the last one-on-one -on -one of uh, today. We have four players in the quarterfinals. Romantic and Infi from Group A, and it is Czech and WFZ from Group B. Okay, we won't see the highlights. Then uh, we will continue with two-on-two. -two. We have Yumiko and WFZ playing together versus TD at High New. And uh, as the loser's semifinal later, it's going to be Joshi Shi and Fly versus Law Light and Focus. So stay tuned here at Back to Warcraft. See ya in a bit.